so silly. You're so silly. You're so silly, Bobas. <laughs> oh, are you claiming this as your own, Mr. Magoo? Wow. I'm smart. I am using this Krylon Satin Black Black Spray Paint and just really just going in and spray painting the wreath and the green branchy things, whatever they are. <laughs> I have no idea what they're called. But I didn't mind if I left some of the brown on the wreath. I didn't get it perfectly. I tried to get most of it, but if there was some brown, I didn't mind as well as the green branchy things. I did actually want some of the green left because I knew I was gonna be using the green moss or what I thought was moss, turned out not to be. And um, yeah, I think it turned out good. So I think what I'm gonna do is basically just start sticking these in like that like so and then what i'll do is i'll probably um see if i need to get <laughs> see if i need to get some something to hold these in i think i'm going to use these ones that i spray painted last yeah i'm going to use these first So I'm really just going in with the all black branchy things and then just filling out the bulk of it. And um, my dog Smokey is supervising the whole thing. Mm, no. <laughs> You're so silly. You're so silly. You're so silly, Baba. <laughs> go on, go lay down. Go lay down. Yeah, you go boy. You go boy. You go lay down. So the problem I'm having is I'm not sure if I want like these to be hooked, these first ones to be hooked, and then put creepy ones or you know, flowy ones. I think that's gonna look better if I hook these. So I'm going to put the base around first and then I'll find something to hook them with. <laughs> okay, so I found these, um, zip ties do i wish they were black yes <laughs> but it's not going to take but a minute to just spray paint these oh are you claiming this as your own mr magoo so i'm just going to take the bulk of this like this is the bulk and make sure I get in there okay. can you see this where I went in yes you can I'm just gonna take it like this and Oh, seriously. You know how the zip ties, if you don't have them the right way, they don't work. So I just continue on with the zip ties, uh, getting the bulk or the mass of the branches tied down to the wreath. At a certain point, I move on to 
pipe cleaners. And those I use for the smaller like areas. Like if a few branches were way too long, then I would just kind of take those two branches and tie them to the base at, at some point in the wreath. Well, right now, <laughs> it's looking like a hot mess. So yeah, I think, okay, so we need some tying down right here. But yeah. I just have to work with it. It's going to take a minute. It's not going to be just a wham bam type thing where I just knock it out, which are the kind of crafts that I like. I just like to spray paint something and it's all good. <laughs> all right. So I went and got some thin floral tape from Joanne Fabrics. I thought it was going to be the best thing to use for the tinier branches that I just needed secured to one another. And it was easy enough to hide because I don't care if there's green in there and the floral tape is green. And then I kind of give close ups, but I'm the only one filming. So it's a little difficult to do that. <laughs> Uh, at some point, I actually show you a clip of the gray owl and the black velvet skull that has seen better days. I'm just showing you those. So it's kind of like a before, and then I will show you an after later in the video. So why are we, why are we waiting while we are waiting for my glue gun to warm up? I thought I would tell you a little bit about my job. I am a pilot driver. Well, I was a truck driver for, let's see, I guess 13, between 13 and 15 years. And uh, I drove long haul. And when I say truck driver, I mean 18 wheeler. I drove long haul. I did line haul. I've done a lot. Uh, but I think the last, gosh, probably six years, maybe longer, actually maybe longer, I was doing construction, like uh, dump truck, transfer, uh, that kind of thing. But now I still have my class A, but I'm doing uh, pilot jobs where I'm just driving my boss's like Ford F450. And then there's a, you know, a big load, oversized load. Uh, behind me so it's pretty it's pretty cush really and the money is unreal unreal there are pilot jobs that are a lot more stressful this thankfully is not so I'm not sure why they're paying so much <laughs> but who am I to say something a lot of hours though. I think I worked 14 and a half hours that first day a few weeks ago when I worked and then 14 hours the next day. Uh, and then after that it was, I think we only did eight hour days and, or actually I don't even think I did an eight hour day. I think I did seven hours, but they guarantee a minimum of 10 hours. That's the other thing. So even if you only work six hours, four hours, then you're getting paid for 10. So yeah. That is nice. That's very nice. Oh, oops. Wow. I'm smart. <laughs> Guess there's two. Oh, wait. Maybe I don't need that part. I had the wrong part turned on. All right. I'm gonna give that another minute and then I will start. did this wrong. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, well, this is not what I expected. So basically what I'm talking about there is this moss wasn't actually moss. It was like strings. Right, who knows? Like just a ton of strings. Maybe work. Just like bound together. I could pull some out, but it was just, it, it definitely was not what I was, what I was expecting. So I just go around and continue to put on patches of this green string, <laughs> AKA moss. And then I throw in a clip of me putting a second spray on the um, skull and the owl. I basically just turn, turned them over and did the other side. little uh, areas that I did some over there um, but that's about as good as it's gonna get for this part one of the DIYs um, I did this side I'll probably go ahead and just do the other side off camera once uh, this dries and then I also went ahead and spray painted this side of the skull I will finish those up off camera and um, get cleaned up and I'll see you on part two. Okay, here she is in all of her glory. She looks absolutely nothing like the anthropology wreath, but you know, it is what it is. However, the owl looks phenomenal. I'm completely happy with the stylized. I hope you enjoyed this DIY fail, as well as this awkward outro. That's going to do it for this video, and I will see you next Spooky Sunday.